Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church. This is daily devotion number 129. Today's meditation is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 14. You can't heal a wound by saying it's not there. I was raised uh, heroes like John Wayne. And uh, I would watch a film where he would get shot like eight times in the film. And uh, he just kept going. He was all right. He wasn't hurt. That tough guy image isn't always helpful. If we pretend that we're all right, nothing's wrong, you may never get the healing you need. How often do you meet people and you say, how are you doing today? And you say, just fine. I'm beginning to discover in our fellowship that when I ask people, how are you doing today? They'll say, do you want to know the truth? And uh, I'll say, yeah, I want to know the truth. And sometimes it's not very encouraging and it's hard. But I've also found those same people sharing good news that despite the pain and the, what they're going through, that God is there. He is sustaining them in the midst of it. And he's helping them move beyond it. I'm very familiar with pain myself. I suffer from migraines and other issues in my life, and I know other people who have a lot more pain than me. But we also find God there in the midst of those struggles. One of the things that happens when we go into denial, we avoid hurts and hang-ups and habits, and we just don't want to deal with pain, and we wonder why it's there. The avoidance doesn't make the pain go down. It makes it last longer. And it never gets healed, it gets worse. But if we admit it, freely give it to the Lord, the Lord can begin to solve what it was causing the pain. And if we are to bear it, as the Lord might ask us to, he will give us the strength and the ability to do so. We have this faith and we have this hope that God loves us. And it's not in the pain, not in the avoidance, but in the ability to pass through it, to live with it, and overcome it with the power of his grace and of his love and of our hope in our redemption. Someday we will have every tear wiped away and every pain removed. But until then, we bear a great deal with the grace and the power of God in our life. Our prayer today is this. Father, I'm hurting. I pray you use my pain for good. During these days of suffering, I ask you to help me to feel your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, I thank you for your bedside manners, that you are more than happy to visit us at the point of our pain. And you're not embarrassed or ashamed. You're not frightened by it. But you're right there holding our hand, being with us, whispering comfort and peace to our hearts, that we so desperately need. We thank you, Lord, that we can move away from resentments and anger and grief and sorrow, and we can move into your love, into your peace, into trusting you and following you and changing our sorrow and our complaining to praise and expressions of gratitude because you are holding our hand. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. May you know the peace of God. He loves you so much. You know, I think that's one of the reasons we are in daily devotions together. I hope you're encouraging someone else to join us. Why don't you leave a comment below and let us know what God is doing in your life today. <laughs> It'd be encouragement to us and to others. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church. Encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.